Hello everyone, this is Ujwal and welcome to yet another spatial analysis challenge. This time it might be slightly more challenging, but I'm sure if you give it a try, you're going to learn quite a few new things. And if you'd like to know how to solve this, I'm going to show you a solution in the later part of the video. I had a really fun time designing this challenge and I hope you enjoy it. So here's the problem. You have a data package containing two layers. Uh, one is a layer of building footprints, which is a polygon layer, and you have a line layer, uh, which is representing the roads. Both of them are extracted from OpenStreetMap, and the challenge is to find a way to connect the face of a building, which is closest to the road, to the nearest point on the road. So what we want is a line connecting each building's uh, face that is closest to the road, uh, to the road itself. And to make the problem more concrete, what we want is you to first extract which of these edges is closest to the road and connect the centroid of that line to the closest point on the road. Uh, in the data package, we have a model solution layer, and this is what the expected solution should look like. Here you can see for this building, we have the center of this face connected to the closest point on the road. And uh, it works similarly for the rest of the buildings. And the idea for this challenge is inspired by uh, utility networks where you may want to connect uh, each house uh, from uh, a utility cable and you want to find uh, the sh uh, shortest uh, way to do this. Uh, do give it a try. There are many, many approaches to solving this. Some may take more steps, some may be done in a single step, but uh, every solution is acceptable. Use any software that you like and uh, stay tuned if you like to know how uh, it can be done in QGIS. All right, let's see how we can solve this. Hope you give it some thought and give it a try to solve this. If you solved it, congratulations. If not, uh, stay tuned and I'll show you my thought process and the approach I took uh, when I first encountered this problem. So here, uh, my first thought was that I want to find the closest uh, point between these two features. And that means the problem space is quite wide. We have many, many points along this line. We have many, many points along this line. And to find the closest one, that uh, can be quite complex. So that's why if you read the, the challenge carefully, we said, let's just find the center of each edge and find the closest point from the center to the closest point on the road. And now that narrows down the problem space to a, a much more manageable space where we have one feature to start with and we can connect it to the shortest point on the street. So let's see the first uh, part of the challenge is to how do I get the center point of each of the building faces? Uh, we have this in the QGIS processing toolbox, we have this uh, tool called Centroid which allow you to extract the center point of a line or a polygon. But this only works uh, if you want to extract the center point of a line. We need the lines first. So the first step would be to convert our polygons to lines. And here we have a tool in the processing toolbox called polygons to lines. We will select the buildings layer and run this. And now we have a line layer uh, well, created from each building polygon. If I try this out, you can see this is still a single line string. And if I use the centroid on this layer, I'll still end up with a point in the center. But I want the center of each of the face of the building. And there comes this really useful algorithm called explode lines. Uh, this has been a lifesaver for many of my projects and I've used it uh, quite a few times. So let's see what this does. So we'll take our lines layer and then explode it. And if you read the documentation, uh, it says that it's gonna split the line layer into uh, segments such as each segment is one start point and one end point. And this is exactly what we want. If you look at our exploded layer, now each of these uh, lines are a separate feature. And now we can use the centroid algorithm to get the centroid of each part. And there you go. We have a point at the center of each of the building's faces. And now the, uh, we have to connect each of this point to 
the road and we can find the shortest path. There are multiple approaches to do this. There is one uh, way to do this using expression. If you look at the QGIS expression engine, that is a function called shortest line. And given uh, a multipoint geometry of this four uh, centroids and the roads there, it will give you the shortest line uh, between those two. And uh, this will give you an answer in just a single step. The writing the expression is also not that challenging. Uh, I'll link to a solution by one of the, the participants to this challenge who solved this using expression. And you can use that expression and you have the answer. Uh, but I wanna show you a little different approach, which is takes a few more steps, but you'll learn a few tricks along the way. And it's much more widely applicable to other problems. So the tool that I want to use is this tool called join attributes by nearest. Uh, this is another tool that I've used quite often, uh, especially when two layers do not intersect or touch, and I want to do some analysis between those two. And I want to pick the closest uh, feature from another layer from a given feature in my first layer. And this, uh, for this layer, it'll actually find the shortest point on the line. Uh, and that's what we want. So we'll say the input layer is the centroid, and uh, we want to find the closest road to each of those centroids. Uh, we can leave the other options to default. I'm just going to run this. You'll get some warnings that there are multiple points with same distances. And uh, so that's fine. For the purpose of this challenge, um, we can accept any of, if there are two centroids with the same distance, any of them is fine. All right. So let's open up the attribute table. And you'll see that now for each uh, building, we have four or maybe more uh, centroids for each of the face. And then we have uh, the distance between that point to the nearest point on the road. And you'd expect that, you know, I want to see the lines, but this is just a point layer, uh, which added some attribute to the output. And here are, is the output where this is the point on the source feature. So this is just the, the centroid point. And then the nearest X and nearest Y are the coordinates of the nearest point on the road, which uh, is, will be the closest point from the centroid. So we can use this coordinates and construct a line ourselves. If you need to write an expression to, and construct an output from that layer, we have this uh, really useful algorithm called geometry by expression. And here we'll apply it on this layer and we'll create a line. The output expression would be something like this, where we'll just say, take the feature X and feature Y, uh, create a point from there, uh, create a point geometry from the nearest X and Y, and use the make line function to create a line. Uh, and this will give us a line layer out of this. So there we have it. We have now a line layer connecting each centroid to the nearest point on the street. And it uh, looks like it did the right thing, but now we have multiple uh, lines for each building. We don't want, we want the shortest line. If you look at the attribute table of this, you can see that for each building, we now have multiple lines, each line with connecting uh, the centroid of that face to the nearest point on the road. So there are multiple distances from that uh, line. And what we want is that for each feature, each source feature, which was the building, we want to pick the line, which is the shortest distance. Uh, typically you would need to use some sort of SQL query, uh, something like select uh, FID dist and min distance and group them by FID. So this kind of grouping and calculating the uh, shortest or picking the shortest or longest segment, uh, this feature is typically used in SQL. In QGIS, there is an algorithm which is uh, repurposed for doing this and uh, it's quite useful. So I'm gonna show you that. The tool that we're gonna use is this add auto increment field. This tool is actually designed to add a column with unique values uh, on auto incremental values, which can be used as a primary key or if you have, want to store some data into a geo package and you need an FID column. Uh, but uh, here, this has a group by 
uh, functionality where it will be able to group each field and create a unique ID, uh, increasing ID for that. So let's see how to do this. I'm going to rename the field to be rank. We'll start the values at one. So we'll have values like one, two, three, four in the new column. And here in the group by values, we'll say group all the features by the FID. So now if a building has four faces, it'll have four centroids and four lines. All of them will be grouped together and say, let's rank all of this four and assign a rank value one, two, three, four out of them. And it'll do this in the uh, in random order, but if you want to have a specific order in which the rank is assigned, we can use the sort expression. And here we can say sorted by distance. That means it'll group all the features belonging to the same FID, sort them by distance, and start assigning uh, numbers from one to N uh, in the ascending order. And that's what we want. So let's run this. And could open the attribute table for this. And you can see now for each of this FID, here we have the FID one. And if you look at the rank, we have rank one, two, three, four, where the rank one is assigned to the feature, which is the shortest distance. And now all that is left to do is extract all the features with rank equals one. So we'll use the extract my attribute and we'll say, get select all the features where rank value is one. Let's run this. I'm gonna turn off all the other intermediate layers and keep my buildings and roads on. And there you have it. Here we have now the shortest segment connecting the centroids of each faces to the nearest segment on the road. And this is the answer that we were looking for. Um, it's quite incredible to see the result once it's there. Uh, it all makes sense, but I thought it's useful to go through the process and learn various uh, steps that you can do along the way. I put all of this together into a model. I will link to that model where if you want to do this, you can open up the model in QGIS and run this. The model essentially goes through all the steps that we just discussed, but it just runs it together as a single uh, process flow. And uh, if you have some other ideas on how you can make this implementation better, faster, or you know, more efficient, please let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the challenge and learned something new. Uh, it was incredible to see all the uh, people trying to solve this on Twitter and LinkedIn. It was, I received so many responses and people really seem to enjoy it. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, it takes a while for me to come up with a, an interesting challenge. So stay tuned, maybe I'll post another one in a few weeks and you can uh, give it a try. Uh, give it a like if you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next challenge. Thank you.